Hello Year 4, it's Miss Mather here. Welcome to week 3 of Term 5. Um, I'll be leading you through our maths for this week. This week we are starting a new topic, which is time. Today is Monday the 4th of May, and our learning objective for today is I can convert between seconds, minutes and hours. So take a few seconds to have a little think. What is our learning verb for today? And what is it that we'll be looking at today? So our learning verb is convert, which means we'll be changing between different units of time. So we'll be changing seconds into minutes or minutes into seconds and minutes into hours or hours into minutes. So a little quick warm up activity. Here are some units of time below and I'd like you to order them from the shortest unit of time to the longest unit of time. And I'll give you a few seconds to do that. So this should be what your completed order looks like. Seconds is the smallest unit of time, followed by minutes, hours, days, months, and finally years. And today we'll be looking at seconds, minutes, and hours, which you can measure on a clock or a digital watch. And tomorrow we'll be looking at days, months, and years. There are 60 seconds in one minute, and we can put this into a bar model to help us visualize that these are two equal units of time. On a clock face, you can see that each small line between the larger numbers represents one minute. If each small line represents one minute, how many minutes are there between each big number on a clock face? There are five minutes in between each large number. So now I would like you to count in your fives, jump all the way around the clock using your finger until you've reached the 12 again. And this way you can work out how many minutes there are in one hour. Okay, so you should have worked out that there are 60 minutes in an hour. And again, we can put this into a bar model to help us notice that these are the same amounts of time. If you were to start a lunch break at one o'clock, you would have 60 minutes until you finished your lunch break at two o'clock. Now you might have noticed something about how many seconds are in a minute and how many minutes are in an hour. They both contain 60. Okay, so this number is going to be very important for us today and we're going to use our knowledge of our six times tables to help us convert seconds into minutes and minutes into hours. If there are 60 seconds in one minute, how many seconds would there be in two minutes? We can use our bar model to help us demonstrate this. If we have two minutes, we also need two lots of 60 seconds. And if I know that six times two is 12, I also know that 60 times 2 is 120, so there are 120 seconds in 2 minutes. You can also use a number line to answer this question. You can jump up 60 seconds to get to 1 minute and jump another 60 seconds to get to 2 minutes. So 2 lots of 60 seconds is 120 seconds. Now I'd like you to answer the following question by yourself. How many seconds are there in 3 minutes? So I'd like you to draw a bar model to help you answer this question and also draw a number line. So you can pause the video now for a few minutes until you have completed this question. So your working out should have looked something like this. So I've got three minutes on the top of my bar model and each minute represents 60 seconds. So I've got three lots of 60. Okay, so I could have worked out using my six times tables 
knowing that 3 times 6 is 18, or I could have done 60 times 3, which is 180. Or I could use my number line and jump up 60 seconds each time until I get to 3 minutes. Okay, and 3 lots of 60, or 60 add 60 add 60 is 180. So there are 180 seconds in 3 minutes. You might come across a question which asks you to work out 0.5 minutes or half a minute. And you can work out that this is 30 seconds because half of 60 is 30. So for example, if you have a question which asks you to work out 3.5 minutes and seconds, this would be equal to 210 seconds because 60 add 60 add 60 add 30 is 210. So far we've been answering questions where you have the number of minutes and you're asked to work out how many seconds this equals. However, sometimes the questions might be the other way around. You might have a number of seconds and be asked to convert it into minutes. So for example, how many minutes is 360 seconds? Well, we can also phrase this as how many 60s are there in 360? Because remember 60 is the same as one minute. You can use a bar model or a number line to count in 60s until you get to 360. Or you can use your six times table number knowledge and you might recognize that 36 divided by six is six. So 360 divided by 60 would also be six. And this would be your answer, six minutes. Now let's move on to converting between minutes and hours. Now the process is very, very similar because remember, 60 minutes is the same as one hour. So, how many minutes are there in two hours? This will simply be two times 60, which will be 120. Similarly, how many minutes are there in 10 hours? All you have to do is times 60 by 10, which will be 600. Again, you might have a question that's the other way around. So this one asks, how many hours are there? in 240 minutes. So you could draw a bar model like I've done. 240 is the amount of minutes and we're dividing it into numbers of hours. So as you can see, I've got four lots of 60. So there are four hours, which make up 240 minutes. Now you are ready to do your activity for today. And this week we have the return of the do it, twist it and solve it format. Remember to use your six times tables knowledge throughout your work today. You might find it handy to write out your six times tables next to your worksheet. And also remember that one minute is 60 seconds and one hour is 60 minutes. And these will be very, very handy for you to remember today with your work. If you're struggling at all, feel free to re-watch this video and have a lovely rest of the day.